Welcome back. The one-day boycott of classes called by force received mixed response all over the state. Diocesan schools and some aided schools boycotted classes, keeping their schools closed on Friday, whereas many of the other managements continued as usual. Force had called for this boycott to remind government of the MOI issue. Have a look. There was a mixed response from different schools to the call given by force members. Force wants implementation of English as MOI from this year itself. They had called for this bun to remind government about the decision. In Panji, Don Bosco High School supported the boycott. Parents supporting English as medium of instruction demanded immediate implementation of the medium. High time, the half the year is over. We want it to be implemented immediately. Two schools in Kukoli, Maria Bambina Convent High School and Our Lady of Health were closed, whereas Kukoli United School and Infant Jesus School was open. In Naveli, Rosary High School supported the boycott. Some parents demanded primary education in English for their children. Private schools should be closed down by the government. This is our demand. And if at all he wants that it should be a Pokhani medium school, first he should start all the government uh, uh, sharas which are closed down. They should start the Pokhani medium school in those sharas. There is a big class divide in Goa happening right now. So what is happening is uh, those who can afford can send to English. But those who cannot, cannot send to English. So this class divide should stop. So. St. Mary's High School was closed in Ponda. Three schools of diocesan society were closed in Kankon. St. Teresa High School in Chaudi, St. Annie's School in Kankon and St. Sebastian School were closed. However, BBSM in Bicholi appealed parents to send their students to school and not to participate in the boycott. When but in Sakli, the scene was different. There were arguments between the parents favoring English and Konkani at St. Anne's School. But St. Anne's School and St. John's School supported the boycott. What about the minorities who support Konkani? Because they are left up to the parents. In Kepe, two schools, and in Sange, one school was closed. Six aided schools in Pedne were closed, and seven unaided schools were open. Presently, the medium of instruction issue is pending before the High Court. Some people feel that this boycott is contempt of court. Meanwhile, next hearing on this case is scheduled on 3rd of October. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Mapsa police cracked down a gang smuggling BSNL batteries at Kolwale. Three persons from Uttar Pradesh are arrested in this connection. Mapsa police have also cracked down two other cases of theft of BSNL batteries. The trio Aslam Khan, Bablu Kumar and Sohan Harijan were arrested by Mapsa police on Wednesday night. After receiving a tip-off, that some stolen batteries would be transported to Mumbai via Mapsa Bypass Road in a truck, Mapsa Police laid a trap and stopped a truck at Kolwale. Munir Harijan and Abdul Shahamun. They had a police demand. And the office under section 457 and 380 has been registered against them. The batteries were concealed in the truck in such a manner that nobody could notice them. Police are in process of verifying all the batteries in accordance with the theft cases that have taken place recently. With recovering the batteries, Mapsa Police have cracked down two cases of theft of BSNL batteries that were reported in jurisdiction of the Pedne Police Station some days back. Our reporter from Mapsa, Shamsundar Fatte. Youth Wing of India Against Corruption has demanded passing of Lokayukta Bill 2003 in the forthcoming Assembly session. They are worried whether the two-day session would be enough to pass the bill. They have threatened to campaign against all MLAs in the forthcoming Assembly session if the bill doesn't get passed in this session. This time, if the, uh, the Lokayukta Bill is not passed and made into an act and it doesn't come and doesn't uh, uh, come under full swing or full action uh, and fr th from uh, December 6th, 19th onwards, then all I have to say is you all have to face the music for elections. We will see that 
we bring down each and every MLA who is sitting right now who does not support the, uh, the Loka Yukta Act. Youth says Anna's movement was just a trailer. If needed, IAC youth will contest election. And number three, we wanted to table, debate and pass this bill as a priority on October 5 prior to any other business or you extend the session until this bill is passed as per your comment. Youth in India Against Corruption have demanded an open debate on illegal mining issue. They want participation of government in this debate. They have also raised issue of bogus voting by migrants. India Against Corruption has demanded that bogus voters should be deleted from the electoral roll. Irauta Slamzan, Kais Tanchagan is the registered contract as now, Tanchay electricity bill as now. How are they registered? Yeah, inquiry election commission and Kurbakzai. There are a lot of bogus voters in almost every constituency, I can assure you, there are at least 1,000 to 2,000 bogus voters who come here only for voting. A reporter from Panji, Devdas Kamli, with video journalist Sushant Pur. News from sports after a short break. Stay tuned.